everybody. Welcome back. It's day 25 of the 100 Day Project. Um, so, this is where we left off yesterday. We've got this envelope in, this one, and the CD case. And I did come back and add that stitch. I think it really brings that out. So it, kind of, it did need that. I think that frames that out nicely. So today we're just going to start working with um, some of the elements from the kit. Um, I've pulled these out because I think I can make use of the tickets. And then this sheet is really sweet because I like the little tiny things. I can see we can do something with them. So um, no, I haven't had any plans for this other than I know I'm going to make the card for this. So... So the sheet that had four of these journal cards, there's one, this image, isn't that beautiful? So what I've done is I've cut that down. Now you guys will have to measure. I think the, the CD cases are standard, but you may not be using this. You might be using one of the window envelopes. But for this, I've decided, because you got to add that bit of glue up there, I decided I need a base. Um, that was four and a half by four and a half square. And then I trimmed this to make it three and a half by three and a half square. And then I came back and added a bit of um, ink, distress ink to it. Um, and I want to put that in the center there. But I also want to put a tab so it makes it easy to get in and out of there. So let's go back over to this. She gives you a sheet. Just look through real quick. Yeah, see, Andrea gives you all these tabs. So this is going to be really handy to do. Dum -dum -dum -dum. Let me get the scissors. I've only got six pairs of scissors out, but of course I need these. I finally found them. I bought the, um, I think somebody said these are the cutter bees or cutter bug or something, and they are nice, but I still prefer my old Stampin' Up! ones, um, and I, I don't even know how they came back about. It was like one day I was in here crafting, and I looked up, and there they lay! on the desk and I'm not kidding you I had searched every drawer in my craft room so I the only thing I can figure is um, I sometimes will store my projects in a container like this and I can only figure it was maybe hidden under some of the stuff but it's, ugh, crazy and then you look and look and I'd given up on them to the point I thought okay I better order some but you can't have too many scissors or bone folders. We know that. How many bone folders I've bought, and I don't know where they are. They must be having a fantastic life. That's all I can say, because I haven't seen them since. What I've started doing, and I don't know, you guys probably knew this already, I've just been putting score in that on the line and then just do it all in one go. That way it's definitely the same on both sides for these tabs because they can be a little bit fiddly to cut out and I'm super weird about it's got to match up precisely <laughs> even if I have to sacrifice some of the image on one side okay isn't that pretty okay so what I'm going to do I want to go ahead and get that down first in case this goes over it Let me set that over and then the only thing we'll need to do then I might come some butterflies or something
I'm so excited to show you guys um, my latest journal. And I don't know. I'm hoping I get it done today, but it's, I, I'm not sure I will. So, Okay, so we're going to get that tab just about there. Make sure that's straight. Gosh, look at that. I need to take the time to clean that one. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to just ink the edges a little bit so it all blends in okay. Yeah, I don't know how long it'll take us to do this. I, I've decided I'm just going to do it at a leisurely pace and we'll just divide it up. It takes what it takes. I'm glad everybody's been enjoying this project. I never even considered that anybody would want to see this done. Um, and then when I posted that one I had done for um, Dreams Etc., I was really surprised at, at um, the number of people that wanted to see a process on it. So that's exciting. Just do a little bit more there. Um, and then I'm just going to center that up. Now, I had considered running a stitch around it, but I don't want to do that. The reason being, I want to keep this nice for people to journal. Um, but you certainly can, can do that if you feel the, the, that it needs it. Um, I, I know something that's bugging me already is this is very stark white. So I would suggest with this kit, you might would want to tea dyed that and I had some tea dyed and I'm kind of kicking myself that I didn't do that prior. Um, now when you tea dye, <clears throat> if you're an experienced crafter you know this but I'm just kind of talking to people who are just getting into it. When you tea dye these envelopes and coffee dye them, be prepared that, um, oh my god, where's the lid gone? Oh. Be prepared that those are going to come apart because they're cheap quality um, and it will happen but don't stress about it because you can just put a little bit of glue on there and it'll it'll sort itself out very easily but um, the coin envelopes I have got a problem with because they sealed shut um, because they're the type of adhesive that you lick and it seals. Well, I can't get them apart now, so I just trim off the edge. I like that. You could round the edges if you want, but that's a nice little journaling thing. But this is bugging me, so uh, let me try to soften this up. This is vintage photo. I normally use crumb cake. Let me just show, because I know somebody. That's what I normally use, which is why you can't normally see on camera when I'm distressing much because I don't like really dark. So I'm going to have to try to do, that's just too white against everything else. So because I've already got everything in place, I'm just going to try to do this over. do the same back here because yeah that's just too ooh, it really stands out it's ugly it's not even a nice white you know how some of them get like it's like a blue hue to it I don't mind um, the soft wintry whites which is that's the cardstock I use when I print it's kind of like a winter white and it's just a nice this is like, oh my gosh, yuck. I don't I don't like that shade of white. But I'm not gonna bother inside because that's gonna be covered up. So okay, let's get this back down. And get that in so you guys can see. And do measure yours before because depending on how far your glue has leaked, 
You may have to cut yours even shorter, but So now you can see it's nice because we can see the tab. Oops, sorry. You can see the tab just hanging over, and then you've got the image there. And then let's just go ahead and put, I think, a butterfly. It's such a great little kit to work with. Oh, you know what might be pretty is a couple of these tickets. And that yellow, what do you think? Because that might be quite nice. And then the ticket. And then a butterfly. Let's just see. I don't know how much we're going to get done, but um, I mean, to be honest, at this point, you know. You wouldn't have to follow along. Um, you've got the basis. Let me just, uh, oh, I don't want that dark cake. Let me get my crumb cake again. Um, you know, you can you can venture off on your own and do the, the embellishing. But it's it would be nice if you stick with me. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's going to be pretty. Let me see if I want that yellow. So maybe if I tone that yellow piece down a little bit, just to bring a little bit of color to it. Oh, gosh. That was nearly a, a disaster. Hang on, guys. I've just slumped my coffee. I better move it. It's sitting next to my computer and I am clumsy now. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to use that or not. If, let me see if I can tone it down a little bit. really like that. Maybe just uh, uh, where are our butterflies? Maybe to balance it, because we've got the tab there, maybe to balance it, it should go over here a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to put it on here and let's see how we feel about it. I definitely think the butterflies can't believe we're at uh, the weekend again. Have you guys got, <coughs> excuse me, any big plans for the weekend? Um, I know I'm going to be working tomorrow. Um, but the plan is Sunday to do a car boot to get rid of some of my stuff. Um, because I've just got stuff that needs to go. Okay, I'm just thinking. I actually like that, but then I think maybe, I don't know if this will support a big... I love, she gives you all these butterflies. Those are so awesome. Let me go ahead and get a big one trimmed out. I don't know, it may be too big because my worry is if it hangs off too much when we're flipping it up and down, we don't want anything that's going to get bent, you know, bend or be in the way. But on the other hand, it would be nice to have some um, three dimensional 
things sticking out. Oh yeah, I can just already start to think this is going to be it's going to be pretty. I think when we get done, because you can use all these kind of fluttering around within the um, file folder. And then the ephemera is really going to be easy. You know, we can see, this is what, okay. Let me show you what I'm thinking. And then, obviously, we, we have to go to plan B if it doesn't. Because I'm almost thinking, wouldn't that balance that out nicely? It doesn't conflict with that. It doesn't cover that. And I think that's the only thing I'm worried about. But see, if we came here and shift that to that side, isn't I think that's going to be better. Because my thinking is if I can glue him there, take that off, will he be in the way if we flip? See, he will, if, unless I can drop, I'd have to drop him down. How about there? That way he doesn't get in the way. I'm thinking he might, because I don't want anything that covers. I like that. Because up there, see, his wing could get bent. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. And then you guys, if you disagree, you can leave it in the comment, but to be honest, it'll just be a little bit too late. <laughs> It'd just be like, okay, yeah, I, I should have, but I didn't. <laughs> It's just that little bit of yellow really is um, pretty there, isn't it? Let's do this. I've got, you know, all my little pieces of linen thread. Let's just... Hi, these little fellas. Okay, see what I did? I just tied that little bit of um, linen thread. Oh, covers up more of the ticket. Do we think? I like that. Wow. I like that, and I didn't even consider that, so there you go. In the end, I, oh yeah, it was risky. I, what are you guys thinking? Was it a no-no? I just, I don't know, at the last minute I thought, well, why didn't I try the big one down there? And I like it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do the same with this, this one, and then we'll get it on there. And uh, see if we can get at least one side of these kind of done. Okay, I'm going to get my glue. Yeah, I think this would be quite pretty to have those little butterflies just fluttering around here and there because what's nice, they can just flatten out, you know. 
because see this isn't going to bother anything hanging over here I don't believe okay let me let that sit for just a minute okay here we are oh yeah something oozed out that time must have been off that ticket okay so if we flip that over there's no interference on that okay how that's looking that's sweet isn't it okay so gently gently let's get back to this side here this is one of the little pockets that you get so I've scored that and I'm going to put him right there and I can already think a butterfly there maybe up in here might be quite nice. I'm going to drop that down so that we can add some of these small, in fact, you know what, I'm going to put a little notch there. Just a second. I'm going to just notch that out. The reason why is some of these small tags I want to make sure that we can see those. Same for these little journaling cards. In fact, I might mm, I might do a little tuck spot so we can have those. I really like to see things peeking out. So I'm going to try to line that up. I'm terrible with lining stuff up. I think I'm I don't know. I don't... It's like when I hang walls on... Uh, hang walls. Listen to me. Hang pictures. I've, I've quit doing it now because I take this... The, um, level. Oh, I get it all, you know, oh yeah, I've got it all lined up and you get the hole and hang the picture and it's, you know, because some most of the pictures, it's fine if you got one, you can sort it out, but when you've got two and you've got a hand, oh, I never can get those straight and I've just given up now. It's like, okay, somebody else is going to have to do that because my house is like walking into one of those fun houses Everything's crooked. You're thinking you're off balance. <laughs> okay, liking, liking, liking. Okay, 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 okay. Where are we now? Well, I know I'm going to want one of these little butterflies because he really needs to be fluttering around the whole, the whole thing. And if we have to, we can always print another sheet if we need more of them. I think she's, I think there's going to be plenty, but I'll tell you something else I'm already seeing. Aren't these pretty? It's like a little vintage type. I don't know if that was a receipt ticket maybe I like it these aren't the, really the right scissors to be cutting these um, let's just see if we were to kind of like stuff running off and then see that'll be another little a little tuck spot that we could put a tiny see I like that and I I don't know I've started <coughs> doing more of that in my journals and it I don't know it's I, I never went to art school or anything like that guys so I'm not claiming to have you know, formal training. I just know what I like. To you know, when I do something, I know what I like, and I I kind of like that because I think it's it balances it out somehow. And I've started putting my you know the 
pockets. Now that one I put in the center, but I like to put them off because here I'll probably put some um, lace. But I think I'm gonna I'm gonna commit and do that on that spot, and then like I said, we're gonna start working on filling this one out because. Oh dear, I'm almost out of time. Oh, doggone. Okay, let's just get this down, guys, and then I'll have to, um, I'll have to clear my SD card because it's just not. I'm gonna, um, Okay, I like that, because then we've got another little pocket here to put one of these, you know, some tiny tags and so on. And now that I've started doing that with the butterflies, I would say, I'd say stick with whatever you, if you don't like the twine wrapped around, and it doesn't have to be twine, you could use embroidery thread or something, but I'd go with something natural looking, um... Because if you make it too bold, you're going to take away from the um, butterfly. But if you don't like this look, no problem. Gosh, the butterflies are stunning enough without it. I just kind of think they add a little bit more texture with the um, natural twine. Just some a, a bit more interest. So. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to stop the camera, guys, and I'll come back. I'll leave you in suspense. Where is she going to place the butterfly? Back after this advertisement. Okie dokie, guys. I'm back. Um, well, we know we're going to have stuff in there. I'm almost thinking it'd be pretty right there. Because <clears throat> you got stuff going into there. We could put it here. I, I like it over there, I think. And to be honest, I probably should have left this part until the end because things can change within it. I'm probably getting too far ahead here, but I'm going to commit to it now and put it put him over this blue area because he'll stand out slightly better. Oh, I'll tell you what, very quickly, let me just stick a little bit of cheesecloth under him. See, I keep forgetting to do this because that'll be pretty, just that little bit of um, texture and it'll, it will cover the blue. So let's just do that just for a little bit more. There we go. That's pretty. Let me just stick him down. Just make sure you get, you know, enough that with the wear and tear, you want to have a good strip in the middle there that's adhered. That's how it's looking. All right, let's just get a few of these little journal cards cut out. And then um, we will have to take a break here and work on it some more tomorrow. Actually, that would stand out nicely. All right, let's do this small tag because I think it's going to be narrow enough.
And I don't know if I've told you guys, I have created a playlist. Um, two, actually. One for the 100 Day Project. And then I've created one for my tutorials. So that, um, you know, through the week, we can't all find time to craft. That way you can just go to the playlist and... Um, It'll all be there if you want to just wait until the project's done and you just do it all in one go. Absolutely um, do that. And then the same for t tutorials. If you don't want to have to skim through, because I know not everybody's interested in, you know, my flip throughs on the journal, and that's totally fine. I get that. Um, so I've tried, I'm trying to make it easier for those people who are just interested in in the crafting portions so check that out guys oh look at that perfect okay let's see what you so that's fit in really really nice there okay I think um <laughs> Okay, because this is, you know, there's going to take quite a lot to fill this in, so let me see if there's anything that really stands out. I mean, we know we're going to want this with the little card. Let's just put that in there very quickly. I hope I can do this before time runs out. And this always goes quicker if you can use your paper cutter, but I don't want to be fumbling around over there, so. I think I'll put both of these in the envelope, but I'll just cut the one out for now. And have that tucked in. And Okay, got that. And get the little envelope to cut out. Isn't that pretty? Anyways, I don't even know where I was at, but this weekend, yeah, car boot. I'm gonna gonna go out, and of course, knowing me, I'll end up buying more than I sell, because I am really bad about that, guys. Um, we get set up, and we take it in turns. Um, Paul will go and look around, although he's much better about um, showing restraint, particularly right now because we are trying to get rid of so much stuff. Um, he's much better than me about showing restraint when it comes to that. Um, and yeah, I, I do hope I don't buy anything else because I'm Oh boy, I've got a mess in this place because of last weekend, as you all know. Um, and I still haven't found a place for all of it. So um, I'm whispering that because he's still down, down and he might hear me. <laughs> because, ah, uh, let me grab my scoreboard. Um, so yeah, I need to get organized, and I just haven't had time with the craft, you know, this and everything else, but I have got to try to work in some time to um, get everything put away, because I'm even though I, I'm a very sloppy worker, um, I'm very sloppy at craft time, but in my real life, I don't like um, clutter. It, 
I'm not OCD, but I don't know. I don't like stuff out of place. I like I like my house to be a, you know a certain way, and it does get on my husband's nerves because. Well, it used to my kids when my kids were little. I, I, yeah, I was a fanatic over my house, and I probably shouldn't have been, but I was. But uh, yeah, it's they're they're forever teasing me about it because I was really I was way worse then than I am now. But anyways, you live and learn, and I think as you get older, you get more mellow. Um, and realize, you know, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> when I'm dead and gone, nobody's going to say, oh, she kept the most immaculate house, didn't she? But um, for me, <clears throat> within the craft space, it does. I'm fine when I'm working on it, but then every night I've got to go through and try to tidy up. But all that stuff I bought last weekend, I've got to get organized. and Because I want my fabrics all pressed and stacked so I can see them because I love seeing fabric. <laughs> so it's like, ah, oh, I've got to do this because it's just one of those things. Okay, you saw what I did. I glued that. Isn't that envelope sweet? And look at that on the back. <gasps> so he's going to get tucked in here for now. We can always shift it around later. Um, Nowhere near done, guys. I'm sorry. I'm making slow progress on this, but um, the reason probably it's is I'm not thinking about it prior to because my mind is on other stuff, and this I just thought we're just going to let it develop as it does naturally. Um, I will go ahead and start distressing this side because... Um, let me get this out of the way so I don't make a major boo-boo there. Um, see, you can see it. What a mess. Look at that. All this stuff. Um, let me just go ahead and start doing these edges up because we're starting to fill it up now. And we want to do this. Just lightly I want it done. side and then I'm just going to tone that down a little bit there. Yeah, somebody was saying that they're going to make one of these to put their ephemera in and I thought, oh, that's a great idea, but I think I've got too much ephemera for that, but it did start me thinking I like old tins, and I don't know why I haven't, it hadn't occurred to me to start picking up old tins for um, the stuff I've cut out. Um, then again, where would I go with them? Because my drawers are really, really narrow. So I don't know, I've got to give some thought because I feel like I'm still not as organized as I could be. But little by little I'm getting there. The next thing I've got to do is I've got a drawer that's a deep drawer for file folders and I've got to try to find a hanging file folder system here that I can um, start separating my design team projects because as it is I've got them all in these little plastic um, I'm going to I'm, I'm just putting a little bit of ink over that muslin as well, just to age it up a little bit more. Because um, I want to separate all my design team, because all of their kits tend to um, complement each other. So when I have a few pieces left over, I want to be able to just put them in there, and then because they all work within the same colors, 
um, they'll all be in one place and I can pull them out and use them in the next project. Um, so that's like a priority. I really want to try to get that accomplished over the next month maybe. <laughs> but I don't know if I will. But it's just my, one of the ideas I've got. Okay guys, I'm sorry but that's going to have to be it for today. So we've really, we've got our CD thing. Let's look at it again. And then we've managed to get this area prepped. So tomorrow, I don't know what we're doing, but uh, hopefully you're interested enough to come back. <laughs> Anyways, have a great day and a great weekend, people. I'll see you soon.